Morning slash afternoon. I oh, know it's morning. Um, welcome to B Sides Vegas. This is still proving ground. If you were here from before, you'll know that. And if you're new to the room, welcome. Um, so second up on the track today, we have Tiago Borgini, um, who is going to meet. There's his big title on the screen: Brazilian Deep Web. I'm very excited for this. That's something I know nothing about, so it's going to be great. Before we get going, quick thing: we need to thank the sponsors because sponsors bring the money. Um, so. We'd like to thank our sponsors, especially our diamond sponsor, Adobe, and our gold sponsors, Choose Three. Um, <laughs> I'll do all of them because I like sponsors. Prisma Cloud, Semgrep, Blue Cat, Plextrack, Toyota, Conductor One. It's their support, along with our other sponsors, donors, and volunteers that make this possible. Tiago, my friend, the floor is yours. Over to you. Thank you so much. I'm my first time in presentation, in, besides my first time in presentation in English. It's my natural language is Portuguese, because I I many words lost in, during the presentation. But uh, I talked about the um, how to Brazilian guys using OPSEC for obfuscating the IP address or trackings for cyber investigations. Okay. But my first name is Thiago Bergini. Uh, today, I head of cyber threat intelligence in Brazilian company, the name is Axer. Um, today, um, one guy for organizers security besides in Sao Paulo. I invited all for participate in the next year. Uh, I speaker in many events in Brazil and in the, in other countries, in professor for postgraduate courses in Brazil. But. I talk him because the cybercrime is not about me. <laughs> uh, what challenges the cybercrime in two years in the, I believe in the next years then, okay? The first problem is relating the cyber enforcement tracking the cyber criminals in the transnational, mm -hmm. because the one guy have in Brazilian, another guy is saying that they spend in the Russian, another guy creating the provider in USA, is the crime unique um, for congruate the problem. Uh, cyber crime today using the emergent technologies. In Brazil, it's most common guys using AA for create a deep fake um, for um, bypass self in recognizes bypass onboarding um, bank accounts and bypass two FA uh, authentications. And, and 5G's networking is another big problem. Another problem is recognizing the investigate this cyber crime is different because the a traditional investigators. The law enforcement I need learning again because the one guy do not work in the same time as in the cyberspace. The cyber crime is working different. Okay. In after the COVID pandemic, um, I talk in the all crime working in the home office, <laughs> in same the all peoples. And the another problem because in, specifically in Brazil, the law enforcement agents not having peoples, not having investment, not having technology. It's a big problem. I think in, I talk to one guy, I mean, cyber investigate, the cyber investigate and do not, in, um, in, do not in identify the ISP related to the IP address, for example. Hey, what the law enforcement do not identify one, one IP address is very easy, yeah. but um, one problem in Brazil. And then another problem establish the public sector and private sector join for Cooperate and, and share information relating to cybercrime because it's, today is very necessary. The current scenarios involve the data breach attacks, involve attacking focusing the financial transactions. Uh, today, at, attackers, uh, threat actors, can know the business and the application. For me, it's very important information because the this uh, knowledge creating a most sophisticated attacks because not using just a technology. The threat actor can know the business, can know the process, can know our roles 
involved in the financial transaction. Is uh, creating the many things ideal for creating our um, many types of fraud scams. And in Brazilian, it's very abusive. Use a social engineer. In technical, in Brazilian, the guys is, is very good, low. For example, one Brazilian mower is most common 200 megabytes. So I like as a service pack <laughs> for analyze. And the, but the social engineer involve, involved in the all processes is, is very complex. Involve a fake number, involve a fake SMS, a fake WhatsApp messenger, a fake website for creating the all um, store for conduce the victim the the crime. Uh, then Brazilian is most common creating the guys creating the malware focused in the IRP, CRM, and and other um, applications like as uh, SAP, uh, Salesforce, anything. And not the malware created for Windows or Linux or Mac OS. Just malware created for attacker the application. It's a very important information. But uh, what the TTP attacks? M many people think that threat actors work in the only deep web, but in Brazil it's very very different because the most common threat actor focus in the cyber crime and the fraud scams talking about just a subject in the WhatsApp, Telegram, TikTok, <laughs> the most common, Instagram, and all uh, social medias. For example, my company collects today more or less 3 million messages WhatsApp per day. Only cyber fraud groups. It's a very, very volumetric data. Uh, two samples, the first, uh, sorry for, because the fraud scan is, is right in the Portuguese, but the first screen, first screenshot, had the fraud focus on the Coca-Cola. If the people send it to message to one people, the Coca-Cola send the guy one refrigerator. Whoa, what? <laughs> What the hell? And the second uh, example is that many common in Brazil, the guy got the WhatsApp picture, create a fake number, and send a message to many contacts. Hey, mother, I changed my number. Uh, it's my new phone number. How are you? I, I locked my account banking. I needed the uh, Pay one bill, or I need, I need to um, pay my friend. Is possible you create a transaction, financial transaction for me? Send if uh, one hundred uh, reels. In many people just trusting the message. Uh, do not check if the real number is correct. Or hey, my daddy is you didn't you change your phone or not uh, i i talked for my my students and then many people lost the smartphone is a phone but, hey call the guy hey you change your phone or not but in brazil it's much common that people ah yes same picture is okay trust you very good And uh, the another problem, oh, sorry, it's lots of words in there. Uh, WhatsApp is cyber criminals talk about the cyber criminal in many WhatsApp groups. It's very common. Uh, in WhatsApp groups, groups it's very common you um, buy or sell anything, um, credentials, um, fake documents, fake bills, um, scams for bypass to FA authentication. Um, in Brazil, it's common uh, using the orange account banking, like as a, a fake 
uh, account banking uses the firm on the laundry. Uh, one guy creating the, um, a bank account just for money laundering. It's a big problem in Brazil because the all people create it's, it's a business. One guy buy, for example, uh, one people uh, in dollars, two hundred dollars for people creating in the ten banks a same account. But these accounts just use it for money laundering. And it's reinforced the partnership between the private sector and the public sector for share information. And the second slides, for example, you buy the drive licensing, uh, fake drive licensing, and fake and financial transaction um, bill fake credit card and anything, drugs, uh, guns, um, anything, people. <laughs> uh, credit cards are basic information, so not interesting. Uh, all day, I see many messages such like as, and what protection this guy use, I think? Using the OPSEC, use Tor, VPN, proxies, cloud computer, or do not use nothing. The first experiment uh, I have an, uh, three questions for response to that. The, the first question if the OPSEC is different between the WhatsApp guy, Telegram guy, or Discord guy. Is having OPSEC a difference between the platform or the same? Is the first question. Second question, the threat actor type. If you, the threat actor focus on the malware development, have a, what type of OPSEC? The, a guy creating, just creating a phishing scan, what the OPSEC the guy? It's a second question. Second question. And how many threat actors use the OPSEC and what most common OPSEC use it for all guys. I started my research focused in Brazilian groups and the strategy involved the webbug link. Uh, all can know webbug, IP tracker. Okay. Uh, I started in conversation, this guy, this guy selling fake money, okay? If you buy 100, you receive 1,000 in the paper money. Uh, I talked to this guy, hey, I need to buy your money, but it, your money is trust or not? Because I buy the another guy is not trust. See, oh, I'm, I fake money, I buy. I send it to guy one link after guy just clicking the link I collect the all information the guy for example IP address uh, geolocation IP um, user agency uh, operation system anything for my surprise it is guy not using VPN not using proxy or relay hosting anything oh good <laughs> Very good. Uh, it's possible to identify the system operation, browser, and thing. Uh, just Java IP is related only the IP address, okay? Not a GPS, just a, a Java IP. Uh, okay, in Brazil, is have a um, financial transaction. The name is Pix, like as a instant transaction financial. I believe in the USA have uh, the same technology, but uh, the, another name. Uh, and the PIX is possible. I change, uh, I send the money to people using their cell phone number, email address, uh, CPF. CPF is like as a social number. And then uh, you have uh, two uh, random keys. In my first thing, hey, if the guy not use the upsack, it's possible 
this guy used the same phone number for creating a bank account. Okay, a test. <laughs> for my surprise, the guy created the account banking and the, related the same phone number and they exposed the this a banking here the name the guy here the social number okay for brazilian compliance in brazilian as a LGPD, like as a gdpr uh Obfuscated the three first numbers and the two last numbers, the social number. But if you have a six middle number, it's possible to identify the guys in many data breaches. Okay, I get this number, checking data breach is all data relating to this guy. Address, full name, date of birth, mother, uh, all phones, all emails, uh, all employees, anything. It's social medias, that's good. The second case, uh, I think in the second threat actor, this threat, act, threat actor selling the scan for remove to a failed authentication in the banks in Brazil. For example, uh, is is Cases many come up if you're installing the cell phone, the guy removed to second uh, factor authentication and they enable to factor authentication in another device for access the account banking and then movement the all transactions. The semi social engineer, hey, it's working. I have a big database contain the social number, CPF, and then password. I'm all 50, 15 business. I send my database. If you uh, can now remove it to FA authentication, the all financial obtained the scan, splitting between me and two, the guy, okay. Oh, I send it to you my database, okay? Another web bug or IP tracker, if for my surprise, again, the IP address, um, providers, user agencies, and the phone number, oh, phone model in the last column. Uh, it, IP is a VPN, a proxy, is, what do you do? Nothing. It's a clear IP address. Okay. Okay. I think all oh, guys is losers or noobs. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I simplify my my research. Just to create the fake database uh, involved the credential database. A fake creation. Uh, a fake another database relating the credit card numbers and then distribute two links in the many groups. Hey, just a free database credential for use, for us, and then free database for a credit card for us, okay? And for my surprise again, <laughs> and many guys click in the link and they collect <laughs> the, all information. Uh, the all IP address collecting 92 percent not have anything upside involved, just a clear IP. Then five percent using VPN and three percent using host. Host the guy using the cloud computer uh, instance, Amazon, Google Cloud, anything for us as the Telegram or WhatsApp web. Okay, but then zero guys using proxies or, or tar. Okay. So oh, good for investigators, better center. Uh, but in, I think if it's just Brazilian scenario, in another crowd is is a same or as different. Okay, send the same link for groups involved in Latin, not included the Brazilian groups, the WhatsApp, Telegram, and Discord. In 
result is more or less similar uh, between difference because the Latin using 680, not using anything upsec, just a clear IP. They using VPN increasing for 31 percent. Use uh, guys using VPN for upsec. This is uh, important information because then I think uh, what threat actors Brazil Brazilian threat actors do not use upsec because that not in, um, not having um, worry for jail or um, just in common or not using for not know the OPSEC method, okay? I send many um, links. I separate two interesting cases. This guy clicking the link if, but if you check the JYP address, JYP point to Paris, but this guy do not permit just collecting the IP address, but collecting the GPS coordinate. It's good again. <laughs> but if you check the GPS coordinate, point to customer fee. What guys live in? Stay in the customer fee or Paris. If I check the IP address, IP address related to the VPN provider. In this case, it's possible that the guy use a VPN for access the link, the VPN node in the Paris, but the real location of the guy is in customer fee. Okay. Um, okay. The the Oscar goes to for this guy. This guy permit to collect, do not do, just in collecting the GPS coordinate, coordinate but collect the selfie. For law enforcement, it's very good. You have the IP address, you have a geolocation, you have a cell phone model, you have the self the guy. That's it. And the next day morning, hello. <laughs> Is a, a good. Uh, it's it's not a unique guy. I have him more or less uh, five thing guys using the permit to collect the GPS and collect the self. I have uh, many books of self detectors Brazilian. <laughs> but what the points of the research? In two hours, collect the two more two hundred. 15, seven unique IPs and seven using the VPN, 80 using cloud uh, host or like as VPS, zero using proxies or tar. Uh, I'm not identifying principal difference, the TTP between the threat actors. The malware developer, um, phishing development, the fraud, guy is using the same uh, method for TTPs, the same OPSEC method. And the, the scenario repeat between the platform. The guy using the same OPSEC method in the WhatsApp, Telegram, and Discord. Okay. Um, the last, the most concentrated uh, IP address collections Concentrating the in the Haggits, Haggits, economic concentration in Brazil and São Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Brazilian, uh, Porto Alegre, is um, far uh, uh, states concentrated the economy in Brazil, okay. But uh, what uh, the recommendations? So the lesson, this one for all threat actors professional because the I need if if the guy uh, fail in the OPSEC, the cyber threat intelligence analysis is possible fail in the same program. Working in the cyber threat intelligence always validate the all aspects involved in the OPSEC. 
if you have a DNS leaky, if you're using a VPN, if you, your VPN do not leak a real IP or leaking the real uh, user agent, because the another guy is not a, a kid. Today, the threat actors in Brazil is a crime organization. The financial uh, 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 ah, lost in the, the word. The financial money obtained the frauds, movement, the drugs, guns, people's trafficking, and, and many other problems. Yes, I don't have a gun in my house, but the guy has a gun. Is if the guy ex get my real IP address, creating the, a real threat for my person. In OPSEC is a very important um, for all CTI professionals. The second lesson, um, one small flaw, um, compromising in many cases entire investigator because if you, one fail one unique opportunity is lost. And the third eating return for first in the again, again, infinite looping. <laughs> That's it. I need it in all cases, I need to validate all aspects in the OPSEC. For law enforcement, it's a, a, a good because then if the law enforcement lead the education for uh, apply the same techniques, it's possible to obtain the good results because the the threat actors uh, do not using or do not preoccupy to the um, hide the tra tracks or traces in the the cyberspace. In many cases, uh, the threat actors having the same fails, same problems. For example, the guy. Use a VPN, but permitted the self and permitted to collect the GPS coordinator. Hey, you do not use the OPSEC correctly. Okay. Uh, in Brazil, I have a, a many problems collecting, for example, if I need to identify one guy, the policy send the IP address for tel telco, and the telco, in many cases, return the data related the IP address in more or less six months. Six months, the guy is lost. Another country, um, another uh, part of a rope. Then I think the, just the same strategy is possible working for map cyber predators because the cyber predators, um, I try with the, another experiment, cyber predators um, do not preoccup in the many cases in DOPSEC. The and then permit the collect the GPS, collect the selfie. It's a good because there's a big problem in all the world. Okay. For finish, the um, almost some actors in concert about OPSEC, Brazilian scenarios in Punich, in, for example, if it, the guy going to jail, this guy is staying in the jail for one or three months. It's not a problem because then uh, using three months for PAG, create a new fraud scam, create um, a new uh, technique, is anything. So just a uh, research period, okay? If it, uh, your first time uh, in that jail, you don't need any time. Just you go in the policy, sign in the document, and okay, you're free. Okay, resonance is very mental. That's it, guys. Thanks for the opportunity.